Hi, and thanks for tuning in to find out what the deal is with a Canadian trying American candy. And this is a sample of what we have. This must be about, it's got to be about two pounds of candy. So, of course, I'm not going to eat it all in one sitting, but I will taste it all. So, obviously, that's a lot of sugar, and I need something to cleanse my palate between tastes. So... I also got these American sunflower seeds from a company called Beggs, and these are Taco Supreme. This company likes to flavor their seeds based on products you find in American supermarkets like Hidden Valley Ranch dressing or Vlasic pickles and Little Caesars pepperoni pizza. Not this Little Caesar. But also, you need something to wash it down with, so I found this. It's soda pop, I guess they call it. I think they call it soda. We call it pop, so... It's an American pop, but it's a sarsaparilla flavor, and I've always wanted to try that. I think it was in a Bugs Bunny cartoon when I was a kid, something about sarsaparilla, and I was always curious what it tasted like. So hopefully this tastes somewhat authentic. And this is from a company called Indian Wells Brewery in California. First stop, California. Let's give this a taste. Got my handy dandy enormous bottle opener. Okay, let's give it a smell. Mm. Okay, it smells very much like root beer. Let's see how it tastes. It tastes just like root beer. I can't tell the difference. And it doesn't have the nutritional info on it. It says ingredients, water, sugar, citric acid, and caramel color, natural and artificial flavor, phosphoric acid. Yeah, it tastes exactly like root beer to me. Sasparilli, I think is how... Somebody in a cartoon called it. Let me know if you've ever had it and if you think it tastes like root beer or if it did taste like root beer. Maybe this is just one person's recipe. Oh, let's open the, the bigs. They paid $4.99. Okay, so do these smell like Taco Supreme? Uh, kind of. They've got a definite Mexican food sent to them. Let's try one. I don't know if you guys remember, but or if you even saw it, I did a Timu review, and this is a sunflower seed opener. So if I recall correctly, it didn't work, but let's try it. It doesn't work that way. Okay, yeah, it did open it. Yeah, they have a bit of the flavor, but I think you have to actually eat them in the shell in your mouth. So I will try that. Oh yeah, oh big time. Yeah, the shell, the shell is what has all the flavor. They're very good. Mm, I like them. So the bag of these seeds says, do flavor bigger. A supreme flavor from the Taco Genius. <laughs> okay, so it's huge seed, double flavored. And then it's got some very small mouse print on it. So uh, nutrition is 180 calories per serving. Yeah, so a serving is about a quarter cup or 30 grams. And something hilarious on this bag is instructions on how to eat them. Crack open shells, discard shells, enjoy seeds. Okay, thanks for telling us. And they're made by Conagra Foods in Chicago. Okay, so let's get started on the sweets. Let's try the Charleston Chew. This is a candy bar consisting of marshmallow flavored nougat covered in chocolate flavor coating. So I don't know if that means no real chocolate in it. And it was created in 1925 and it's named after the dance, the Charleston. I don't know if you've ever heard of that, but they also have other flavors available. This is the original. So I thought I would try the original vanilla and they recommend you try it frozen, but the other flavors are chocolate, strawberry. And at one time there was banana, grape, and cherry. No longer, I guess. And these are not from Charleston, North Carolina, or wherever Charleston is. They're from Chicago as well. Same place as those big sunflower seeds. So there's about a 230 calories in this bar. Let's see if it contains any cocoa. Oh yeah, there's a bit of cocoa. They're made by Tootsie Roll now. Okay, let's try it. So yeah, 1925, they've had some major staying power. Nice that they put it in a cardboard sleeve to, I guess, prevent it from breaking. But I think it's stuck to that sleeve. I don't think it's supposed to be this hard to get out. Okay, let's try it. Okay, so it's a lot of chew without a lot of flavor. 
it's sweet naturally, but there's not a whole lot of flavor jumping out at me with this. It's kind of plain and based on how chewy it is, it's a lot of work for not a lot of reward. The chocolate too is not really delicious. Okay, on a scale from one to 10, I would give the Charleston Chew maybe a three. Charleston Chew, I paid $2.29. I think that was too much. Okay, what's up next? Sugar Babies. Sugar Babies are from Covington, Tennessee. So these were developed in 1935. They were named after a song called Let Me Be Your Sugar Baby. That's kind of cool. There used to be a sugar family called Sugar Daddy and Sugar Mama. Okay, let's try them. Calories for this serving is 190, and that's for 48 grams or 1.7 ounces. Soft milk caramel covered with candy coating. So again, candy coating indicates that it may not be real chocolate. Oh yeah, no, it doesn't even look like chocolate. Looks sort of like a, no, it looks like caramel. Pure sweetness, but I actually like the texture. It's that soft and chewy, so it feels like you're eating caramel, but without all the stickiness. Doesn't this, doesn't that look, oops. Doesn't that look like it's chocolate? Like a chocolatey coating? Let's try another one. Yeah, they're pretty good. I really like the texture. When you bite into it, it feels hard and you think, oh my God, I'm going to break my teeth. And then it falls apart and turns into a liquidy caramel. It's pretty good. These sugar babies, I would give, I think I'd give them a seven and a half. No, maybe an eight. Sugar babies, I paid 150. I'd say that was... That was worth it. Okay, up next we have a moon pie. And this one I've been really curious about. This is actually what started the whole idea of doing a, a US candy taste test. I kept seeing these in my supermarkets, American products area. And I remember, I'm pretty sure this was on The Simpsons one time when, when Bert earned a nickel or something helping an old lady. And she's like, don't go spending it on penny whistles and moon pies. So obviously a moon pie is an older product as well. It was, it was invented in Chattanooga, and they've already celebrated their 100th year, so, wow, 1917. I got the banana flavor. I don't know if that was a mistake or not, but I really was intrigued by the banana concept here. So calories per, okay, so this is one of those misleading things. The whole thing is 300 calories, but they're claiming this is three servings. From what I understand, most people would probably eat the whole thing, unless this is considered the jumbo. But yeah, I'm really curious as to what it tastes like, so let's give it a shot. I do not smell anything remotely close to banana. Did I? Yeah, I got banana. Okay, let's try this. I think this is what's known as a double decker or triple decker or something. I think the other ones are just two. Well, let's try it. There is zero banana flavor. Zero banana scent. I do not taste banana at all. This is a total letdown. Okay, I'm gonna give this a zero out of 10. This is one moon that can eclipse. I don't know what that meant. The moon pie I paid 189. I want my money back. <laughs> okay, up next we have crows. I thought they were called black crows, but I guess they're just called crows. And they are from, wow, that supermarket I got everything from must have an in with Tootsie because these are also made by the Tootsie Roll Company, and these ones are from Chicago. There's an urban legend that these were supposed to be called Black Rose, but the printer misheard the name as Black Crows and printed it that way. But yes, I guess that rumor has been debunked. Okay, so, and this I think is a theater-sized box, they call it, and it is rather large. It has a puzzle on the back. How many dots can you find? Because I guess these are just black dots. That would be a period, wouldn't it? And I have seen dots in, in the American section too. They look like what we would call a gumdrop without the sugar coating. So I think these are supposed to be licorice flavor. They come in at 100 calories or eight crows. Yeah, there is the Tootsie logo. Yeah, licorice flavored gumdrops. Okay, yeah, they are gumdrops. So by weight, not volume. Lift to open, tuck tab, in to close. Okay, let's do it the way it's supposed to be done. Lift to open. Okay, it opened. Wow, this box is just crammed full. I don't know, don't you can see it, but oh my God, it's just a solid mass. Maybe they melted at one point. Mm, num. Yep, yeah, mm, these are pretty good. 
they taste like the black gumdrops when you buy a bag of gumdrops. It says on the box this is the actual size. They're actually a little bit bigger, I think. Tuck tab in to close. Oh yeah, it did close. Nice. Okay, I would give these at least a, maybe an eight. They're a little, little too hard to chew, but they're still, they're flavorful and yeah, they are what they are. Okay, so for the crows, I paid two seventy-five Canadian. Okay, up next we have something called a big hunk. I like that name. Chewy honey sweetened nougat with whole roasted peanuts. And these are from Annabelle's, in, made in Hayward, California. This whole bar comes in at 230 calories. I'm holding it upside down, but that's how the writing is on it. Okay, they claim it's low fat. Let's give it a shot. Oh wow, I was expecting chocolate. Not chocolate at all, but the color of the wrapper sort of indicates it would be chocolate. Holy, that looks like, what it would it be like? Resin or plastic? Oh wow. Okay, I smell peanut and a bit of vanilla. Oh, okay, this is awful. It would last you a long time, so maybe maybe it'd be good for to sit through a movie with. Not a lot of flavor and horrible texture. Oh, I'm going to give this a one. The big hunk I paid, 99 cents. So yeah, yeah, it's probably worth that. Caesar has decided to join me again. Okay, so up next we have cookie dough bite. I got the chocolate chip flavor, but they have a whole bunch of other ones. These come to us from Santa Monica, California. And a serving size, there's about three servings in this, and they are 130 calories per serving. So these were invented by a company that was trying to sell healthy food to feeders and bulk distributors and didn't have much success until they came up with this cookie dough recipe. And so I don't think they're actually very healthy, but then they say try them frozen as well. Bite-sized cookie dough in creamy milk chocolate. Egg-free recipe, which is good. So for these I paid three dollars. I thought that seemed kind of high. Let's give them a try. I don't have a fancy kind of opening box of any kind. I guess you just rip it open. That is really lame because I hate when boxes get ripped up like this. It's impossible to reseal them. They do come in plastic wrap, so I guess that's good. Okay, let's give these a shot. Yeah, I guess, I guess they, oh yeah, they do taste like cookie dough. And they've got the sugar graininess to them like you would find with, with cookie dough when it hasn't melted in the oven when you're making a cookie. Yeah, they have a good flavor. Okay, so yeah, I'll give these uh, cookie dough bites and eight, which surprises me because I really hate cookie dough, <laughs> raw cookie dough. I don't get it. Okay, up next is Almond Joy. I paid two forty nine for this. It is from the Hershey Company, and one Almond Joy package contains two hundred and twenty calories. They used to be made in West Haven, Connecticut. Now they're made by Hershey. Yeah, they're from Hershey, Pennsylvania. Okay, let's try it. Okay, again, they put the cardboard sleeve in to protect it, which is a good idea. And so what it is is a coconut chocolate bar with an almond on top. There's two pieces, two pieces with two almonds on each piece. Okay, let's try it. Okay, it's it's good, but it's funny. It's two of the things that seem to break up and always stick in my throat. That's coconut and almond all in one chocolate bar. Hey, I don't know if I'd ever buy one again. I'll give it a... Six. I still really remember the jingle from when I was a kid for these. Okay, so up next we have Milky Way. I paid $2.49 for this. And what I discovered after I bought it is Milky Way is the exact same thing as Mars in Canada. So it's the same company and everything, but so I'm going to actually try the taste of each and just see if they're exactly the same. Because Canada tends to have different chocolate than the States. But let's look at the nutrition. This Milky Way is per bar 240 calories, and then Mars is the exact same. Okay, let's try the Milky Way first. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's interesting. I thought the caramel was more stretchy on these. Maybe it is on the Mars. Let's find out. There are definitely differences. Holy, Mars is a lot lighter in chocolate color, and it seems to be thicker and fluffier, and I hate to say it, but tastier. It's interesting how two such similar bars can be so different. Just look at the difference in color. 
Okay, so with that, I'm going to give the Mars about a five. Okay, up next we have Sophie Mae Peanut Riddle. This is from Lufkin, Texas. I paid $4.49 Canadian for this. Okay, and it's 70 calories per three pieces. So let's give it a shot. Mmm, smells delicious. Get a piece with a peanut. Okay, it's it's okay. I've actually had better peanut brittle. So yeah, it's it's just okay. Sorry, Sophie May. On a scale from one to ten, I would give it a four. Okay, up next is the Rocky Road, also by Annabelle's from Hayward, California. This is made of milk chocolate, marshmallow, and cashews. Comes in at 220 calories for the whole bar. And it seems like a big bar. It's not overly heavy, but still, sometimes you, you think you're getting more if it's bigger. Okay, let's give this a shot. Well, it does look like a big chocolate bar. Okay, I don't know if you noticed, but when I bit into it, a lot of the chocolate coating came off because of the marshmallow. Because I have a dog who should not eat chocolate, eating one of these around him is probably not a good idea. Okay, so I didn't really concentrate on the flavor. I was panicking about picking up the chocolate. Okay, yeah, it's very fluffy marshmallowy. It's kind of a dark chocolate. I felt the cashew, but I didn't taste it. It's not great at all. I'm not sure if this is where the term Rocky Road comes from or if they're just basing it on Rocky Road flavor. I'm gonna have to give this about a three. Okay, up next, I got all these different Chowards or C. Howard, depending on who you ask, hard candies. These are from Belport, New York. Their claim to fame was the violet flavor, which they promoted as taking one after smoking or eating to freshen your breath. But yeah, they also have lemon, the violet, spearmint, and the one I'm most excited about, guava. Oh, and I paid anywhere from $1.19 to about $1.50 for each roll or each square or each rectangle, whatever you call each package. So let's try. Okay, first the violet. Okay, yeah, so this is, the violet is really good. In Canada, we have a gum called Thrills. Their slogan is, it still tastes like soap. I think it's supposed to be violet flavor as well, but it is really strong. This is very subtle, and I think I like the subtlety of this much better. I'll give the violet a eight. Okay, let's try the lemon. Okay, uh, lemon, oh wow. There is almost zero lemon flavor. Beginning to wonder if I'm losing my sense of taste. I taste subtle lemon, but it's not a punch-in-the-face kind of lemon like you get in a lot of lemon candy. So I will give this one three. Let's try the spearmint. Oh, it does say open here. So I guess that way you can tuck the label closed. Oh, oh I really smell spearmint. Delicious. I love these. These are really good. So spearmint, I would give a nine and a half. Let's try the guava. It's the one I've been looking most forward to. So I hope they don't let me down. Oh, oh they smell delicious. And this one's broken, but I'll eat it. Mmm. Oh my God. So good to know I'm not losing my sense of taste. This guava has so much flavor. Mm, it's very good. So that does make me question the lemon ones. Why can't I taste the lemon? I really tasted all the other flavors. So, so lemon is a dud, but guava is a nine and a half to ten. Okay, and now we go to Florida for Anastasia coconut patties. I paid $2.99 Canadian for this. And these guys make all kinds of different coconut patty flavored things. And this is pina colada flavor. And I love pina coladas. I love pineapple and I love coconut. So let's see what this tastes like. They're saying this is two servings and one serving is 170 calories. Oh wow, I wasn't really expecting this. It's not entirely covered in chocolate. I smell coconut. I do, do not smell pineapple. And I smell chocolate. Okay, I do not taste pineapple at all, but I've got to say the coconut in this blows away the Almond Joy coconut. I thought the Almond Joy stuff tasted kind of weird. It wasn't really the taste, it was the texture of the coconut in this. It seemed almost artificial. This stuff tastes and feels natural. The chocolate's okay, and unfortunately there's zero pineapple flavor. I'll try it again. There's no pineapple taste to this at all, but the coconut is delicious. So for that, I'll give it a 8 out of 10. Okay, so that's it. That's the deal with a Canadian trying American sweet snacks. 
Let me know if you've tried any of these and what you thought of them and if my assessment's even close to what you think. Yeah, some of them were a real letdown, like the banana moon pie. I'm never going to get over it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I really would appreciate it. So until next time, that's the deal. Mm -hmm.